What's up buddies, welcome back, you're watching Hard Video Order Stuff and I've been really impressed with the Rode Video Micro since I picked one up. Considering it's tiny, inexpensive and non-powered, it sounds surprisingly good. And that got me wondering, does it just sound good compared to the microphones that are built into our cameras? Or does it sound good in general? Let's find out. <laughs> I'm going to pit the Rode Video Micro against the very high-end expensive AKG C414 studio quality mic just to see how good it sounds on my voice and then I'm going to play a little bit of guitar for you and see what it sounds like on something with a broader frequency range. So right now you're hearing the inbuilt audio from my Sony A7S II and I am 22 inches away from the camera it probably sounds terrible, but then, you know, the whole point of inbuilt audio is so that we can get a scratch track to sync our properly recorded audio to. And now you're hearing the Rode Video Micro, and no doubt it's going to be a big step up in quality, and that's for a few reasons. Firstly, the quality and value of the components inside the Video Micro will be many times that of an inbuilt microphone. Secondly, the size of the capsule, i.e. the component which actually picks up the sound waves, will be much, much bigger in the Video Micro, meaning it will pick up a much broader frequency range. And thirdly, the Video Micro is directional, it's pointed right at me, so you're going to get a much clearer, much more direct sound, and these three things put together really will add up to a more superior sound quality. And now you're hearing the AKG C414 at the same distance from the other microphones, Obviously the components are again much, much higher quality and the capsule far, far bigger than the video micro. But let's not forget the AKG is also an active microphone, which means it's very sensitive but also won't do anything unless it's supplied with 48 volts of phantom power. So with these three examples I haven't done any processing whatsoever, but I wonder, can I get the video micro sounding anything like this AKG? with just a bit of EQ and compression. So again, here's the Rode without any kind of processing, and then this is what it sounds like with EQ and compression added. And just to compare, this is what the AKG sounds like without any kind of processing, and then this is what it sounds like with EQ and compression, processed in the same way as the Video Micro. Big improvements all round, I would say, and that's why you should always process your audio just like you would always colour grade your footage. And as I'm from an audio background originally, I have made some interesting videos about how to use EQ and compression, which I will link below for you. With that in mind, all the audio you'll hear from now on will be processed with EQ and compression with the same two stock plugins. Now, fancy some guitar? So now let's stack the two mics together and just look at the pros and cons and the obvious ones are that the Rode is significantly cheaper. The AKG is an expensive microphone, there's no getting around that. However, when comparing the sound quality of the two, I can't help but notice that the Rode does have a slightly lean sounding bass end. And the AKG to me sounds noticeably fatter. I found the same to be true on the high end, I found the Rode to be ever so slightly trashy and the AKG really detailed and smooth sounding. Well, sound quality is one thing, but I can't 
can't overlook just how small, light and convenient the road is. And the AKG is just a little bit more cumbersome, it needs setting up, it needs phantom power, and to be honest, it's a little bit of a faff. The headlines for both mics, the road is just stunning value for money, and the AKG so classy sounding. And when we quickly compare the tech specs, we can see that the road will record frequencies down to 100Hz, which is pretty low, but the AKG will record down to 20Hz, which is like sub-bass frequency, can't even hear it low. The road picks up sound frequencies in a cardioid pattern, which looks like this, and the C414 picks up five different patterns, you can choose which one you want, so it's much more flexible like that. And finally, we compare noise floors, and think of this like signal to noise ratio in video, you can see the road is at 20 and the AKG at 6, obviously lower is better. So which do you prefer? Personally, I obviously like the expensive AKG the most, but bear in mind it's 16 times more expensive. And I'm not being funny, but it's not 16 times better sounding, particularly after adding EQ and compression. So the road comes out looking like a stunning bargain, to the point of being an absolute no-brainer. In fact, I would say if you currently use a on-camera microphone that uses batteries, pick yourself up a, a video micro. It doesn't require batteries, so that one time that you run out and don't have spare batteries, the video micro will be there for you. Anyway, that's all for now. I hope you found this helpful and interesting. I've got a large back catalogue of videos about videography on this channel, of which YouTube recommends this top one for you, and the one below is my most recent upload. Until next time, let's help each other out and shoot better video. See you guys.